is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with some Incursion Raid 2 Mutant Guide video featuring specifically the Extreme X-Men team. Now for those of you that don't have Big Apocalypse or Dev Seed members to combinate in this, um, in today's video we're going to be going through all three notes using my Extreme X-Men team but at a very minimal level. I've been playing around with this for the last week just trying to see you know what is the minimal amount of resources that we can put into this team so that way we are saving resources gear, gold, and so forth, especially in this ever-changing meta. And especially with what I've seen um, in the previous two sections, respectively for Mystic and the tech, we don't need to build Bifrost and the Pegasus as high as we need to, right? Like obviously having that core on your team is very, very important, but I've been playing around with this and finally found a pretty decent balance that can get through the three nodes. Um, and, and then obviously leading us here into the bio and skill section. So if you guys are interested in playing in the end game, using a good value team like the Extreme X-Men and don't have Apocalypse, this might be the video for you let's get right to it in terms of the roster i'll show you guys what i've upgraded for each of the characters how high i brought them up and then we'll go through each of the playthroughs so first and foremost this is my extreme x-men roster um and there's a couple of standouts right we know that with gambit he's gonna likely need to be a gear tier 17 level 90 for apocalypse anyway so i wanted to see if i can cement his value there not bring him up and see if we can hold that true especially with the uh level cap that's coming uh we have the hive mind raid team that's also coming so obviously we want to be saving our resources as much as we can at the same time but still have a team that can get the job done um the second most important character in my honest opinion will be next to gambit being nightcrawler right he's doing a boatload of damage um i'm switching him back and forth between the raider and skirmisher especially with the lower stars right now he does have lower focus um but i'll be talking about that in my playthrough as well so these two characters obviously spared no expense on bringing them up and then the rest of the team we got cyclops sunspot and forge um all at actually just gear tier 16 and as you can see specifically with sunspot and forge you might not have them at higher star level so this will obviously get easier as we uh, either a level them up higher but don't upgrade the gear tier levels or um, you just get more stars on them and they're going to be able to actually be able to survive the attacks better, right? Uh, Cyclops, many folks will likely have them built up already. Uh, if you've got access to the, uh, the diamonds that was uh, available in the re leaderboards. Uh, if not, having a good red stars on him is pretty awesome in terms of the damage that we'll be seeing from him. Uh, we have Sunspot here. This is the, the T4s that I utilize uh, with the ultimate and the passive there. And again, we're using Skirmisher. It's not ideal, but because we need the additional focus, it's important to, to be able to land his abilities. And then Forge... I think he's good as a striker because he can actually apply support for the team. As well, we have the T4s on his basic, his ultimate, and his passive. So this is the full team, guys. This team is just shy of 1 million total combat power. And with that said, let's get right into it with the gameplay. Node 1, this is the placement that I like. And personally, I actually switched Nightcrawler to Raider because I feel like he doesn't actually need the Skirmisher as much in this initial uh, two nodes. Just because of the fact that the focus is not, uh, sorry, the resistance is, isn't too high on the enemies. And we're still actually able to la consistently land our debuff. So we start things off, guys, with the special there on Quicksilver, uh, thanks to Nightcrawler. That ideally stuns uh, Quicksilver there, did buy us a bit of time. Um, I actually activate the special there with Sunspot, so that way we are actually applying some debuffs uh, straight down the middle. Um, obviously, you can ability block someone else, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because this first node is actually pretty straightforward. If you get an opportunity now with Gambit, um, what I hope to do is actually ability block Captain Sam. That didn't go my way, but that's all right. Uh, we activate the ultimate here with Forge, activating all the buffs on our team and kind of setting us up because we're getting ready here for a massive attack to take down as many enemies as we can. Um, that's the game plan with this first node, so that way, in doing so, it's going to buy us time with a couple enemies remaining, which gives us time to build up energy again and as well build charges for Cyclops because we are going to be using his ultimate preemptively just to clean up this wave. And again, guys, um, it's actually not a bad node whatsoever. It's just uh, my, with my characters and team levels uh, being lower than what is recommended. Um, that's why we're going about this route. So we start things off with Gambit's ultimate, um, absolutely crippling the enemies. But you can see they have good defenses and obviously having their buffs really do hurt us. We finally activate the ultimate here for Nightcrawler to flip all the buffs, debuffs, giving us an opportune moment now to activate Sunspot's ultimate. So it's just a combo wombo attack, right? The energy's getting granted. I'm checking Cyclops for his charges. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I highly recommend just using the ultimate here, even though we don't have the max 40. We're just trying to take down as any as many enemies as possible in this first wave. So that way we can uh, give us a situation here to build up energy. Uh, and because of the fact that we don't really have time with this team, 
um, to be waiting around, especially if some of these enemies get their abilities off. With our team being squishier, uh, it can be very, very dangerous if you let those enemies um, get loose here. So we go ahead. We're still targeting Quicksilver, obviously, um, but we're doing our work here. As you can see, most of the deep buzz landing on these enemies and um, looking really, really good here. So again, focus on Quicksilver, but we've done our work now with the deep buzz and just let them do the magic with obviously the bleeds and so forth and combinating these attacks. So um, the only one that you should be using the, the abilities consistently at this point would be Gambit just because he has the zero energy cost special. And then everybody else, um, unless you want to provide some protection, you should just be using the basic abilities. So that way we're building up turns, getting our abilities ready because uh, we're going need, to be needing a similar strategy actually in the next node where we're unleashing all this burst and building up energy and charges again. So Captain Sam is going to end up using his abilities, whatever. It's fine um, yeah, because this is the second one and as well, uh, you know, um, at this point there's no enemies that's going to take us down and, and we can actually soak up the damage with all their buffs so very very good so ideally guys this is the perfect situation now we're just slowly doing the basic attacks and it could you know like i said like when they're not using their abilities here uh, we actually don't do too much damage so that's kind of interesting but again gambit can be the one the character at least you can constantly use his abilities but yeah we'll just clean up captain sam here and then wrap it up for in preparation for the next node now, it's going to be a very, very similar strategy. We start things off here with the debuffs on our team, uh, thanks to our passives here. And what you want to do first and foremost is if you can land the special on Kang, it would be ideal. Unfortunately, with Nightcrawler, it did not land. So we use the Raider on him again and again for these two nodes because I feel like we don't need the Skirmisher yet. I go ahead, I trigger Sunspot's ultimate there. And this is where we start things off, especially with the offense downs and disruptions. Um, and right from the get-go, because we built up some uh, charges from the previous node with uh, Cyclops going, you can see the first wave is essentially absolutely devastated, right? And that's how easy it is, guys, with this team. Um, I, we got it done before with my my video from before where this team was only about 830k so i've you know utmost confidence in this team but now uh we should be down to these last four and you're in a really uh you know precarious situation because we're kind of still having to deal with some of these trickier enemies like there's a couple of rogues the archangel can still actually hit pretty hard so you want to be careful here i think gambit again it's gonna be very similar to the last node where you go ahead and use a special as much as you can but just be very wary of the abilities because you don't want to leave your characters in a position where um you know you're starting off obviously in the next node and you're not going to be in a good position to use some abilities if you already wasted right so you can see rogue obviously getting debuffs on sunspot wasn't an ideal but we got the revive and everything, so we're not too worried about that. So now at this point, I'm just trying to slow them down. So I go ahead, I use Nightcrawler to slow down Nemesis to give him the stun there. And then we are going to resume and focus on Archangel just because he's a heavy hitter. And uh, now that Rogue's uh, got our abilities off, you can't really do much about it. But thankfully, uh, we have our uh, Extreme X-Men Synergy, um, which allows us still to be able to attack Archangel and Nemesis and slowly uh, take them down. So she's just focusing on Sunspot. I don't know if maybe he has like some sort of... Uh, this was happening before in my uh, in my previous video too, where everybody just loves targeting him. Works for us because uh, obviously with him coming back, it gives us boss. And then as you can see, bringing Sunspot back, he's gonna give us charges and as well as energy. So not a big deal whatsoever. But yeah, it's interesting how the AI works like that. If he needs to go down and you need to use your ultimate, not a big deal because we still need to do some basic attacks and it's gonna give Forge the opportunity here to build up energy again. Um, now that should only be Nemesis and Rogue. Uh, it should be pretty business as usual. We're just going ahead here. We're just gonna basic them to death here. But yeah, um, making short work of these nodes, as you can see, you may be able to even sim with this team, to be honest, but um, I wouldn't risk it just because this team is lower than recommended. But um, unless you have a couple of characters, maybe at level 95, like maybe Nightcrawler or Gambit, if you have them ready to go, it should be still straight, pretty straightforward. As you can see, we're not doing too much or, uh, you know, go ahead. If you want to use the special on, uh, on Nightcrawler, by all means, it's a low cooldown. It's low enough that we can just go ahead and basic. But keep in mind, too, he has the natural ability block if you're just going ahead and using the regular attacks as well. Or if you want to use Gambit, right? So as you can see, very, very easy. And Rogue isn't that tanky as well. So we made short work of this node um, easily with two minutes to spare as well. Now, here we go, guys. The meat and potatoes of this video, the absolute beast of a node and actually able to get it done here with the 1 million team. I was absolutely astonished. So Nightcrawler with the Skirmisher now, make sure you activate that. This was my first attempt too. And guys, um, I don't mean to deceive you, but we're, you're gonna see at the very end, we basically one shot it. Uh, you'll see at the very end here, but um, from the very beginning, we wanna activate Nightcrawler's ultimate. It may not be perfect. You're able to strip away a lot of the, the bus, which is what we're going for. And again, um, as he gets higher in yellow stars, it's gonna be better for us because uh, his focus obviously improved. Similar strategy. Activating Sunspot with the ultimate, with the debuff that's gonna be casted, but there's really a big focus in this initial wave is taking down as much enemies as possible with extreme focus 
on the Team Lokis and as well as Beta Ray Bill. As you can see, uh, already a couple enemies drop. We're doing the same synergy as before. Um, and now we are going to be just focusing on at least one of the Team Lokis. Reason being is because if they get their abilities off, they hit like a truck and as well, um, as you can see there, they support each other with that, those muscle, those massive regens that they can cast on each other, uh, bringing them back to full HP. So they're definitely characters you want to be focusing right from the get-go. Um, I tried stunning uh, Beta Ray Bill, didn't have a chance there. I, You know, to be honest, I, if I can go back, I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe doing an, at least another enemy like uh, one of the um, invaders would probably have helped, but I just wanted to see if the Sharmashu would do anything. As you can see, it didn't do anything. So we go ahead, we at least use Sunspot Special there, and we're just targeting the Team Loki. We're very, very close to at least finishing one of them. That's kind of the target, right? And keep in mind, guys, we're doing something. We're lasting longer than already a 1.5 million plus uh, Apocalypse plus, uh, slash Dev Seed team. That's how good this extreme synergy is, right? The fact that we've already taken down a few enemies and we're taking the punch from these guys. Um, shortly afterwards, this is where it gets complex another wave does drop so we're trying to do some work on that right side seeing captain sam being weakened but now there's some fellow members of invaders joining as well as some war dog slash wakandan characters beta ray bill is going to get his ability off and this is the one that kind of seals it um if his ultimate lands and a couple of your allies fall that would mean that you may have to bring up your characters a little bit and that's kind of what i was going off by um when i was trying this with my gear tier 14 and 15 team that ultimate completely wiped half my team and that's how i knew that um, the gear tier 14 and 15 was not working. Maybe it's a star level. Maybe you need a higher star level. You'll see, unfortunately, Sunspot does go down. Uh, so obviously getting him back with uh, Forge's ultimate is going to be big. Unfortunately, I am low on energy, so I need to buy time here, right? So I see Gambit having a charge. We need to buy some time. So we're going to ability block at least, um, trying to add some debuffs to the team. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty dire here. I wasn't even expecting um, this node to be completed. But um, to my amazement, we do really good work here. So... Once again, now we're back to Nightcrawler. I'm thinking to myself, maybe we should just try to do as much damage as we can, buy some time here. Once Forge can get his ultimate back, it's going to be a deal breaker. So we're doing okay right now. Um, we see actually, uh, unfortunately, another of our allies do fall. So then I'm thinking, oh shoot, maybe I should just reset this. Two minutes remaining, 11 enemies left. Can we actually do this? So thankfully though, at this moment in time, we are gonna get Forge's abilities back. So that's why I do not give up on this team. Even if you guys see that half your team is down um, and then another wave spawns here with Dark Code and, and Bishop, I do get the ultimate back from Forge. So for me, it's like, oh wait, I might have a chance to, to turn this around. Having Sunspot back gives us an opportunity with his massive debuffs, right? Um, especially the offense down, disruption, defense down. And also with him granting the support capabilities, we get Nightcrawler's ultimate back up. And you can see how quickly the tides of battle can turn with this team when you land consecutively their ultimates back to back just like that a minute and 30 left nine enemies to go um it's it's looking pretty scary right and then what we have a gambit ultimate as well so then we're we're seeing a massive amount of damage debuffs are hitting hard obviously morgan lefay is going to be one that we want to focus on beta rail bill is almost down but um keep in mind both the team lokis are taken care of now and that's typically the focus when you're trying to utilize the Death Seed and Apocalypse team. So we're looking really good, guys. Now we're just taking down and activate the ultimate again. Cyclops is back and we're looking good, guys. We're looking very, very good. Uh, I panicked at first, but uh, you, when you look at all the debuffs that's getting landed on these enemies and, and I'm watching the clock as well. So getting ready here to actually hit the auto, but um, it's crazy how this team can actually survive and get all the way to this point, right? Um, if I can go back, I probably would have used some of my abilities better. For example, um, there was no point in trying to ability block Morgan Le Fay or Wong or even earlier when I was trying to stun the Beta Ray Bill. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna refine, obviously, the attack order a little better, but you can see here how close we are. 30 seconds remaining and six enemies to go. Like, absolutely unbelievable, guys. This team is just a powerhouse. Uh, we get a chance here to use Cyclops' ultimate once again because I'm, I'm switching it to autoplay. And now at this point, I just want to take down as many enemies as possible. 15, 14, 13 seconds left here, and it's counting down to the clock here. So that's why I said earlier, guys, I didn't mean to deceive you, but uh, we basically one-shot this. Um, you know, mind you, I need to refine the attack order, but uh, at the end of this, it is actually just uh, pretty much Wong here remaining, Morgan Le Fay taken care of. So um, three, yeah, uh, all, practically a one shot on all three nodes. And again, guys, utilizing just shy of a 1 million Extreme X-Men team. So I want to share this with you guys. Hopefully this helps in terms of attack order, but for sure, great to see this possibility, this value in the team that you don't need them all at gear tier 18 and beyond guys. Thank you as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.